Okay, next up is Nyx from the Dark Ages with Art Root. This is by Rohit Goswami. And this talk is um, centralized on comments on the trenches of high performance clusters on working with Nyx on kernel locked in systems without peer root support. So go on. Good morning, uh, I'm Rohit Goswami, and I'm going to be talking about Nyx from the Dark Ages without root. It's a short talk, so I'm just going to run through this quickly. So first and foremost, hello NixCon. This is my first NixCon and I'm super excited to be here. This is me, we can, you can check that out later. So what's the big picture? What is going on? Well, on the right, you'll see an academic cluster, a picture from GE Research. And what's the problem really? Well, there's no Docker. If you're very lucky or in some places, you might have singularity. You won't have any user space support, which means you can't play around with pROOT. And it probably runs 10 to S or something, as you can see in the lower right. If you check this out later, then you'll probably also be able to see that these are typically quite powerful. That's the whole point of using them. There's a lot of power in these clusters. And there's also a network file system, typically LustreFS or ClusterFS or even in some cases NFS. And there's always a resource queue, either through Slurm or PBS Torque or something like that. Again, if you're lucky, your mileage may vary, you might find support for LMOD, which is a path helper, as some of you might know. And why, why is this? Like, why does it run an old CentOS? Why, you know, what's going on? Well, it's a necessary evil. Users can't be trusted. There are a lot of resources which are being consumed, and you have to track these because people pay for them. But, you know, users do need new software, developers especially. Uh, a lot of my work involves a lot of high performance coding and I need to know reproducibly that my stuff works. So Nix is the solution, clearly, and uh, it's been adopted by some in the scientific community. Um, it's been around for a long time now, it's 16 years, yeah? But does no one use it? That's not exactly true. Um, there are clusters that use it, they have good support, like Tricard uh, even has an ACM paper on it, and the Flatiron Institute and Compute Canada also support Nix. But what if no one cared? What if nobody cared that you have problems or you like Nix? Well, then you end up here in this presentation. So where are we exactly? Well, um, there's a whole lot of user installed junk, there's a post which accompanies this, I'm not going to get into all of that, but the basic concept is do something to get Nix to build. Anything, unholy things to bath, you know, prune bits of the source code, just get it to install somehow. And then let Nix reinstall itself, right? So I'm not the first to think of this. Um, there are these two excellent rep repositories, which I liberally looked into when I was doing this. And unfortunately, you know, none of them were up to date, hence. So, are we done? Is it over? Well, no, even for the short presentation, there's still a lot of time, so not quite. So what went wrong? Well, if you follow along the methodology which I uh, covered in the post, then, well, you basically, because it's, you, you can't utilize the cache, and um, you're basically running on the login node, and you're wasting a lot of resources. Yes, these resources can be tracked down to you, you can be censored for it, so, you know, in that sense, you're still responsible, but uh, you know this it's not great, right? So what do we need really? Uh, we need better permission handling. There was this incredible moment when um, the permissions were so poorly set that you actually have to run a little watch command, which is terrible. And of course, you know, nobody should be 777ing their permissions, but still. Okay. So there's another issue, which is that the lock is not necessarily released at the same time, um, especially when you're building a large uh, package. And one of the quote unquote fixes is basically moving the package, moving the entire directory and then rebuilding it, which is clearly not ideal, right? So where are we really? Well, builds and queues, we need to know who's building what. And we also need to be able to run on the entire cluster, not just the login node, right? So future directions, there's the union mount proposal, which uh, essentially is meant for efficient private stores, but uh, it's a step in the right direction. It would reduce compilation. It doesn't actually replace the global store. There's a discussion here on Reddit. And my own personal goals, like what do I want to do? Well, I was thinking of looking into um, hashing relative to a prefix and a cleaner setup, definitely. It is not, I mean, it's a long blog post and it is not pretty right now to do this. And hopefully I'll be back next year with a more complete project, really. I mean, with 
more information and with a better approach to this. I have a couple of years on my PhD and I plan to use Nix exclusively, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be looking into this more, so that's the end. Well, not exactly, there's the bibliography, and thank you. Thank you for your attention.